So do you remember what you thought the first time you met me? Well, it's quite a long time ago, <laughs> 30 years, so. Keeping that quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't really have a lot to do with you because you were on your own department, but I remember thinking she was quite attractive. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, you were fond of uh, ski pants. Yeah, oh, they were very big. Yeah, 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 back in the 50s. <laughs> It might have been the second round. Yeah. Well, I remember the first time I met you. Oh dear. <laughs> I just remember thinking, oh my God, you're so loud. <laughs> this is true. And I think you actually sat like quite a long way away mm -hmm. in the office because mm -hmm. we were at uh, the Burton Group, weren't we? Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, there's a new girl over there and she's just so loud. Because you're from Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> and as I got to know you, that had never really changed. <laughs> Liz's style as modern classic with a hint of sexiness. Okay, I might take that. Lucky you put the sexiness in yeah, it. It's the, the classic. The classic. Was, you'd have been in dodgy. And really, modern classic is completely <laughs> just the pose. No, I'll tell you that. That's quite, that's quite nice. Yeah. Mm. Okay, if I had to describe your style, Watch it now. I would say glamorous. Yes. Um, Never quiet. No. So, but, but actually, everything about it is quiet. No. Your clothes aren't quiet. Actually, today you are quite quiet. So um, long shoes on. Fashionable. Yes. Well, try to be. So, if I had to think of you as an animal, I actually think your dogs, the dogs that you have. I'm a dog. Well, I just said the dogs you've got are a really good reflection of you. Oh, okay. I thought you said that you said I was a dog. Is it Farmer Rock? Yeah, yeah, it's Farmer Rock. And she is glamorous, very tidy, very clean. Yes. Uh, can be boisterous. Yes. Uh, so I, I actually. I have that. that. Yeah. I'll be good. Yeah. Well, mine's slightly different. I would describe you as a swan. Oh. <laughs> oh, because, what you're going to say. Not that. because they look lovely and they're graceful or anything like that but the fact that they're on the surface everything is fine <laughs> but underneath it's all going on there's a lot of thinking going on uh, a famous person you remind me of is um, Beyonce <laughs> yeah, or is it too? who knows? Uh, Actually, not for your dancing skills. No, no, that didn't go well. Uh, we've even tried single lady. Yeah, yeah. And uh, someone actually said to us, we were more like the Morris dancers. Morris dancers. <laughs> then yeah. we were Locking around the room. room. But it's because you love a stage. Yeah. And you like to shake your mm, booty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to describe, well, not describe you as someone, but you do look a bit like Sandra Bullock. A nicer okay. Sandra Bullock, I would say. Okay. But you have got her tendencies as well in the film. Because she's, <laughs> she's slightly <laughs> uptight. <laughs> Takes a while to relax. <laughs> Need a couple of gin and tonic. Yes, several. <laughs> so for me, it was when we had to go and pitch the House idea of to House Appraiser. Yes. We didn't have a brand name, we didn't no. really know what we wanted to do, but we just knew, we thought there was a gap in the market, clothes we wanted to wear, and so we thought we'd be really brave and got a, an audience with the CEO. And I left all the instructions. This is true. With you. To find the address. Yeah. And but I thought, you always know where everything <laughs> is. Yes, I hadn't drawn you a map. No, I? no map. And we had left it to like, we had a coffee, we went yeah. really early, yeah. so there's lots of time, and then at the last minute we were like, okay, we've got five minutes, let's go to this office that we thought was the one that we'd basically sat outside, didn't we? Yes, and it wasn't. And it wasn't the one, and all of a sudden, like, we had like, he, I think he'd given us like 10 minutes yeah. or something, didn't he? Yeah, and we walked round that square. Oh, he was so sweaty. 10 times. And then we got, oh no, we're gonna miss our appointment with him, and we were about, I don't know, yeah. I don't know, only about 500 meters away, but did we have to run? So the best thing about Liz is she's very kind and very considerate and always likes to draw a map. 
to be honest, anything that needs explaining. Yeah, anything. She needs loves to solving a problem. She loves, oh, this is how you need to do this and tell you how to do things. Um, her worst thing is... Is that three? No, you're not getting three. Oh, you're just getting one you big type. Uh, her worst bit is, and this is more of a work thing than it is necessarily about her personality, because she's not a complete finisher. She likes to leave it open. She likes yeah, to have the flexibility and change. I don't want to cramp other people's style. I just think other people would like to finish it. Yeah, me. yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but for you, I would say, very bright. Um, very loyal. Yes. And like a little dog. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say passionate, very passionate. Sometimes Too that much. passion, probably the worst bit, can go a little yeah, bit, yeah. Kind of a bit crazy, get a bit blinded. And then I think the three worst I don't points, three bad. the big one, which is just like everybody would agree with this, is because you were never wrong, mm -hmm. it is really painful to have an argument with you. Yeah. So it is like going through a revolving door. Yeah. And then another bad point about you is, hmm. That's it. Just I'm glad you think of one. Aww. Well, I think it depends on the friend because some friends are very noisy, mm -hmm. whereas you're very low maintenance. <laughs> and I think, you know, the good thing is we can have a blazing row about prints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> about a lot of things. About a lot of things. And then next day, just move on. Not even next day. No, even next day. Okay, so even within 10 minutes, yeah. like, we're kind of over it. But I think because we worked together first, mm. and we we weren't not friends, but we were just work colleagues, mm. and um, you know we worked with Jay, and the three of us just got on really well, didn't we? Mm. And so really, friendship came yes, afterwards. Second. And then I think running your own business together, mm. you kind of you're all on the same page, yeah. you feel and you the need same. It well, you yeah. need someone else. And we were just so passionate, weren't mm. we? So I think we just all felt the same, and we just had a really good laugh as mm. well, didn't we? Yes. Um, we worked with each other now for probably almost 30 years, yeah. which is scary. Is and we've been through a lot, mm. um, probably of recent years mm. with Will passing. Mm. Um, we've probably got to know each other. Too Very well. well, too well, yeah. and, but we've had mm. tears, but also mm. a lot of laughs and a lot of happiness. And I, I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else. Oh, oh. God, I, <laughs> I think that actually it, it, it has got deeper though, hasn't it? Oh, because yeah. I think yeah. it is, you go through a lot of kind of, like you say, emotions together, but also we do more things together because we're so busy. We even like work out together, we do yoga together. Cause you work out. I just, <laughs> you said, you said, I made you jump off the floor. But it's almost like, because we're so busy, we have to fit all these other things in. So it's almost like our lives have kind of blended, mm. haven't they? Yeah, we, we don't want holiday. We, no, yeah. that'd be too much. Yeah, oh, too, much, much, too, too much, too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what advice? you should give for anyone setting up their own business? I think setting up a business with someone else makes it so much easier yeah. because you're yeah. not, not all on you. You can talk about things, laugh about things. Yeah. You, you can actually take the seriousness out of it yeah. when things are going a bit pear-shaped. Yeah. And actually, like we've had a lot of, you know, when things are going wrong, sometimes yeah. you know, we have the most fun in a way. Yeah, no, I definitely think, I think having a partner, Definitely having complete clarity of your vision. And trust, I think. Yeah, but being on the same page yeah. about what you want to achieve, because if we thought differently, yeah. how would we ever have done that? So I think whoever you set the business up with, you've got to think the same. Yeah. And you've got to have the same values. Yeah, definitely. So in terms of you know what you're going to invest in, how much time you're going to put into it, uh, what sort of culture you want to have. Mm. So I think we've always been really aligned, haven't we? But I think that's the best doing it with someone else. Oh yeah, you'd be quite lonely doing yeah. that on your own. Oh yeah, I don't think I'd have done it. In fact, I don't think I would have done it if it wasn't for you and Jane. No. Um, so, yeah. Yeah.